Hey Roy, here are some news from the Wireless Race Garage. Today was Tesla coil day and I checked all the Tesla coils from handles that I thought have been defect in the past. And you see out of my 300 devices, circa 20 of the handles have been damaged. So you see the, the quota is, is in my opinion really high and uh, please take my warning for Frequenta and Violetta devices. They seem to be really um, very, very uh, sensi sensitive to, to damages in the Tesla coils of the handles. This is the reason why I don't buy them anymore. So we have a lot of attempts here. You see, with some, I tried to replace the primary winding. Often the primary winding can, can be a problem. It's not it's sometimes it's the secondary winding, but sometimes it's also the primary. This could be the number of windings around the core or the distance between or the strength of the isolation. So I did some experiments here, but uh, after all, I had to realize that with all of this, the whole thing did not work. So, but I was successful in some cases. Um, as you see, I put cup tone tape around them in some cases uh, to protect the user against unwanted sen sensations coming from the Tesla coil in the handle. And as you see here, they are very different. This one is a very long one. So I take a saw and we'll take this away and then place the whole thing in a handle again. So we have eight candidates for this activity. And there was something that was really very interesting for me. This is a Tesla coil of the handle of a very, very modern Tefra Stivel device. Um, I put some work in it. It did not work. But after some um, experiments and little techniques, gluing and wiring and such things, um, I connected it to my testing device and see what happens. Ah, I brought it back to life again. Um, I will see how this will work in a handle. And uh, maybe the impact is strong enough, but I think the, the coil is full of power. And I think this should work again. And uh, I'll keep you updated in the next days.